In 10 years time or so, in 2029, another asteroid will come by that'll go right through our atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Think about that, it'll go beneath our satellites. That's how close the Apophis asteroid will come in 2029. And again, we're, we're basically helpless. Where is the closest Earth-like planet? This is a question that many of us wonder about. Kepler-452b is sometimes called Earth 2.0 by the media. However, this exoplanet is not considered to be potentially Earth-like by the scientific community. It is five times the mass of the Earth, which means that it could actually be a mini-Neptune. Instead, we have already found the exoplanet candidate most similar to Earth which is called Koi 4078.01. This exoplanet could be 95% similar to Earth, but it is located more than 1,000 light years away. If one day humanity have or want to move to another exoplanet, we will probably have to find one closer. Thankfully, a study shows that 22% of G and K type stars could have Earth-like planets orbiting in the habitable zone. There are 9 sun-like stars within 25 light years. If we make the calculation, two of those stars could have an Earth-like planet. We might have already discovered one of those two exoplanets, Tau Ceti e, which is located 12 light years away. So, which exoplanet could be the other one? 7 out of the 9 closest sun-like stars have low metallicity. Metallicity is important because the more metal-rich a star is, the more likely is the formation of exoplanets with sufficient mass. The only two stars with high metallicity are Alpha Centauri A, located 4.4 light years away, and Delta Pavonis, 20 light years away. Delta Pavonis is actually considered the best SETI target. However, this star is suspected to be variable, which means that it undergoes changes in luminosity. Despite variable stars could perfectly have habitable exoplanets, this factor gives to Alpha Centauri A a higher chance of having the closest Earth-like planet. Alpha Centauri A is also a better option because Delta Pavonis is almost 2 billion years older, which means that the life of a habitable exoplanet in Alpha Centauri would be longer. To watch a comparison between different exoplanets, click the link in the description below and make sure to subscribe to Harry Edith. Thank you very much for watching and feel free to subscribe to my channel as well.